So today was week two of my new training program with my coach. And again, hey Bob, just a shout out to you. Thanks for the programming. Week two, session two, focusing on the jaw. Uh, now, unfortunately, I did not record everything. What I did way before this was lots of just trick presses, getting my pathway correct, lots of push presses, getting my dip and drive correct, lots of footwork drills which my coach had given to me. And post that, I started recording whatever you see on screen right now. Uh, now a few more things, just some background for the day. In fact, for the past few days, feeling just a little bit down. Yesterday I also spoke about the calorie deficit. So honestly, today I was in a dual mind whether I should be hitting the gym or not. And thankfully I did because today was one of the easiest sessions that I've had in a while. So as the Bulgarian weight training coaches often say, what you feel is a lie. I have often tinted, experimented with the Bulgarian system and I enjoyed for that very thing. So anyway, coming to the actual workout which you see on screen. So I did a lot of footwork drills with the bar and then the push press or the jerk in the split position. And now you see me doing a complex, a triple of different types of cleaning jerks. Sorry, just jerks. And the jerks, the first dip was a slow motion dip. The second dip was a pause and dip. And now you see a regular cleaning jerk. The reason for this is just to set up my dip depth properly, just to make sure my pathway for the dip is being set properly. And obviously, with different kinds of pauses and everything, it's going to drive also my force production up at the jerk. The head position, my humorous position is far better than before. Uh, this is a failed attempt at 75. At 75, I could not do the slow motion dip and jerk. I directly went to <coughs> the pause dip and the regular dip. And there you go, regular play jerk. So as I was talking about my head position and my humorous position, I just noticed there was one thing which I was missing out on and that is pushing my head in aggressively. I pulled my head out initially when I was pushing the bar up just to get the right path but then I used to just keep my head back. So there you go, the second rotation looked much better. And again the push presses, that's exactly what I'm focusing on, pushing my head in as much as possible. So lots of push presses for the day, so today's workout was long. So that's what today's workout was, a lot of footwork drills in isolation, after that a lot of for split position presses, split position behind the leg, jerks or push presses, split position, regular rack, that means I had front rack, push presses or jerks, and after that just clean and jerks with various kinds of dips, and then wrapping my workout with push presses. So there you go, after push pressing with heavier weights, it's just to end my workout with some lighter weights to build up the volume over here, I went balls with walls over here. Just wrapping it out as much as possible, as fast as possible. There you go. Nice clean workout for me.